This is a combination of, of my input, uh, Jim McWilliam, uh, George Acevedo, John Kennedy, and the DEX team as well, in terms of where we could really go with this. And it, thinking about it, there's really two broad-based, uh, it's office-based for diagnosis, plus or minus therapeutic, and then OR-based. And in terms of office-based nano, you know, as we've already talked about, it gives you immediate diagnosis, plus or minus treatment versus an MRI. It's going to completely change the surgeon and patient experience, and the uh, applications are really going to expand rapidly. Uh, in terms of the OR-based nano, especially for me, just the ease and speed of setup and use for the surgeon and for the staff is, uh, is, is, is revolutionary. And it really does depend on way less surgeon and staff. You know, surgeons do find this difficult, and it, and it requires much less skill to scope with the nanoscope. And it's available at all times, so it can be on the shelf to do those trauma cases, which you're adding on at the end of the day or doing in the middle of the night, where you'd, where you'd never use a scope otherwise, because it's just too much of a, a pain in the backside. So in terms of the OR, and this is the big one for me, is, is to help with periarticular fracture and syndesmotic uh, reduction uh, to confirm, to assist with reduction, and I'll use it all in all my pylons, my ankles, my calcs. Uh, you can detect syndesmotic instability, you can confirm it, and confirm reduction of the syndesmosis in, in regular ankle fractures. I scope every single one of my ankle fractures, and I'll be putting the nanoscope in every single one of them. Um, you, it will assist in joint prep for MIS fusions. I think this is going to be a huge application. You know, few, foot and ankle surgery requires such big incisions and the skin is so tenuous that we really are moving more towards MIS. And I think the combination of MIS techniques and the nanoscope will, will allow us to really change the game there. Uh, tarsal tunnel release and gastroc releases, uh, endoscopic uh, uh, indications, regular joint arthroscopy and obviously tendinoscopy in the OR. So for me, I'll use it for any and all fractures in a wet or dry fashion for reduction, uh, help and confirmation of reduction. I loved the one of the guys earlier who was using it as a second set of eyes instead of fluoro. And uh, th that's definitely what I, I would do. I, I would have a nanoscope in every joint that had a periarticular fracture to, to help with that. And again, most of these fractures you're doing at the end of the day or, or in the middle of the night with staff who have no idea how to set a scope up. They don't even know what a scope is. But it's so much easier to wheel a console in, open the peel pack, and then it really doesn't matter what staff or who you've got on the back table. It's easily doable. Um, these are just some case examples. I think these were the first foot and ankle cases with the nanoscope from this week. This was an ankle fracture that got a scope, uh, nanoscope, Fibrolock, tightrope XP, and an AITFL internal brace, um, a uh, lat unstable lateral male, posterior male. This is us in, in the operating room with the nanoscope, just using the, the fluid syringe. This is a week and a half old fracture, but you can see immediately we've got good pictures just with that. Uh, just another view here. We eventually hooked up the fluid, but we got uh, really great pictures uh, from inside the joint, and these are hugely expanded. So this is the that retractable probe that they have, and these are the final fluoroscopic views. Uh, we also used it in triple arthrodesis. So we used MIS techniques and the nanoscope for joint prep. Now, I did this in completely open fashion, but I'm learning how to do it open, and then I'll slowly get my incisions uh, more uh, smaller, and I think eventually we really will be able to do it truly through uh, small or, or mini open incisions. And so this is uh, my partner's fellow who was helping with this case, and he's got the MIS burr, I've got the nanoscope, and this is just us uh, uh, in the uh, CC joint there, obviously through a big open incision. But uh, this is us, again, in the CC joint on the right there. But on the left, the tail and navicular joints is really difficult to see inside, especially in the lateral aspect of it. And uh, this is going to be a real game changer. I can foresee us being able to do triples in MIS fashion. So, uh, and these are your final floral views. All right, thank you.